Assalamu alaikum. My name is Fred, and this is my story. First exposed to drugs around 12, 13 years old. And then it just kept going and going and going. Just started getting into heavier, heavier stuff, heavier drugs. It's killed a lot of friends. It's pretty much almost ruined my life. I remember one night waking up. In hospital in a room, I opened my eyes, doctors, lights, I saw my wife standing on the side of the bed holding my hand. And the doctor said, look man, you're in resuscitation. You know, we think your heart's gonna stop. And I thought that was the end, you know. I thought it was all gonna be over. But I called out to God and um, he saved me, bro. And I thought from that, that day onwards that that's it. It's time, you know, it's time to stop. I'm just looking into my wife's eyes and trying to say sorry to her, but I just couldn't talk. I just didn't want to go then and, you know, I'm happy I didn't because that hadith of the Prophet saying that you'll be resurrected on the Day of Judgment the way you left is not the way I want it to go, man, and it's not the way I want to get resurrected. Putting the drugs before my family, before myself, the drugs would have been the biggest regret. <clears throat> and the biggest regret is to just wake up and knowing, knowing I'm going to get resurrected in a state of intoxication or, or high on drugs, man, not knowing where you are. Having all those lights and the nurse holding the machine on top of me, rubbing all that chilly stuff on it, ready to, to zap me. I couldn't even feel my left side. I couldn't talk. My jaw was like slurred down. I really don't want anyone to go through or anyone see their kids or their parents or their brother or sister go through this man. This is way bigger than what you can imagine. Everyone needs to be supportive of each other and don't look down at someone man if they're on drugs. Don't look at him and go, oh look he's a junkie, he's on ice, he's on heroin, he's, a, he's an alcoholic, he's wobbling home. Don't look down at no one man because that's, that's been weak. It's been selfish. And that's having pride that you're better than someone else. Everyone is equal. Yeah. Everyone is equal and um, everyone deserves a chance. Everyone deserves to be heard and everyone deserves to be supported.